Alright guys, it's story time. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of you guys watching have had a maybe an experience in the woods that was scary. And I know a lot of times when I go into a different forum, somebody will pose the question, what was the scariest thing that ever happened to you? Well, I have a story to tell, and this is a truthful story. I'm not making this up. This tree right here, back in 1988, that's a pine tree. Actually, it's dead. Let me show you the top of it real quick before I tell the story. That's the, this tree's dead now. But back in 1988, I was archery hunting out of this tree. Had a climbing tree stand. We have a couple apple trees right here. It's usually, you know, to bring the deer in. I mean, they still, I come up and check just about every summer to see if there's apples on them. Because if there's apples, there'll be deer coming in here. These isolate apple trees. But anyway, then this tree stand hunting. Now, back then, this used to get real dark in here because these pine trees were alive. There's two of them, and they provide a lot of shade. It used to be thick in here. I mean, that was how many years ago? That was, what, 30 years ago? But this used to get shaded really quick when it started to get towards evening. But anyways, I was in the tree watching these apple trees, and I had a couple deer come to my right. They were over here feeding around under a different apple tree. And I watched them for a while, and uh, I never could get a shot at them. It was too thick where they were at. And I watched them slowly meander out of range. But I didn't want to get out of the tree too early because I didn't want to spook the deer because I was hoping that maybe another night I could come back and the deer would maybe come in front of me. So what I did, it was quit past shooting hours, I lowered my bow down on the end of a string and I dropped the string and left the bow lay there and I watched the deer till they got out of sight. I was in a climbing stand so it was quite dark. I mean it wasn't, it wasn't, probably might have, the sun may have just sat, I'm not sure. But it's like I said, this area gets very dark very early. So I got turned around, I was trying to unfasten my strap from my tree stand so I could climb down the tree. And when I did that, I heard a growl. I guess you could call it a growl. I'm going to try to imitate it the best I can. It went, Rawr! And it sounded just like that, like I was saying the growl. Just like when you would try to scare a little kid, you'd get, Rawr! like that's what it sounded like. It didn't sound like a snarl. It wasn't deep. It was kind of high-pitched. I heard that growl and instantly, as soon as I heard it, I went Rrrr! I growled back because I just thought somebody was messing around with me. I actually, you know, forgot that I was, have, was here by myself hunting. I didn't come with anybody. I remembered when I did that growl that, hey, I'm here by myself. There's a gravel road right up there, up through the woods there. And from the tree stand, I could see, you know, glimpses of a car coming down, any car that would come down that road. But I would hear gravel popping under the tires long before I'd ever see the car. And I think in the four, four and a half hours that I was in that tree, there might have been three vehicles come by. None of them stopped. I could hear them going on and on. So I realized, it didn't take very long, I realized that that wasn't a person. Whatever that was, was some kind of animal. Now this sound was loud. That rawr! It was loud that I could feel it vibrating off my chest. Similar to when you, if you've ever had a gobbler gobble at close range, that loud you could feel it in your chest. Well, that's what this was like. So anyways, it growled. I growled back. So I'm, I could not, like, I could feel that I was panicked. I did not know what to do. So I started climbing up the tree higher. So I got up the tree a little bit. Rawr, and growled again. So I got a, 
I had a flashlight in my pocket. I got it out, and wouldn't you know, the thing was about dead. It must have been on at one time in my pocket because it was real yellow, and it didn't have any kind of a beam to it. But I tried to shine that light where the direction I thought it was. It was behind me, back here somewhere. And it growled again. So I'm scared. I have to admit, I was scared. So I waited for a little bit, trying to run through my mind, like, what could that have been? You know, it didn't sound like it wasn't a bear. It wasn't that deep-throated growl. It was high-pitched, and it sounded like somebody was saying it, just like trying to scare a little kid. So I waited a little bit. I tried to come down the tree, just come down a little bit. Rawr, it never moved. It was still there. I went back up the tree. So I'm sitting up there, I'm debating, I look down, there's my bow laying there, strings on the ground, I didn't have any kind of weapon. Sitting there debating what to do, it growls again. I'm scared. I mean, it's getting later and later, it's, it's pretty dark by now. I mean, it's, it's hard to see with just your eyes. So I, uh, I just made up in my mind that I was going to have to come down that tree one way or the other. I was not going to spend the whole night in that tree. Even though I thought about it, I was not spending the whole night in that tree. So I come down the tree as fast as I can. The whole time I'm coming down the tree, I was just yelling, Get out of here! Leave me alone! Get out of here! Just go! Get! Get! And I was basically yelling that, so that hoping that that would cover up the noise if I heard something, just to cover up the noise of hearing it. I got to the bottom of the tree, unfastened my tree stand as quick as I could, grabbed my bow, shoved that dim flashlight in my mouth, and I ran to the truck. I ran through the woods. I was running in a panic, and I actually thought whatever it was might be behind me. Got to the truck, fumbling around with the keys, trying to open the door, just like you would see in an old movie. Finally got in, threw everything in across the, I mean, I didn't care if I busted anything or not. Threw everything in the truck, jumped in and locked the door. I had slobbers running down my face from that, holding that flashlight in my mouth. I was scared. And I have to say, I did not come back to this area for, for years. I would not hunt in these woods for years. I'm not sure what it was. I've, you know, with the internet, even today... I've listened to recordings of bobcats, you know, different kind of sounds, growls, and I have not found anything that sounded like this did. So, uh, that's a true story. That happened to me right here in this spot 30 years ago, and I haven't forgot it yet. And even today, anytime I'm in these woods hunting or anything, I carry a firearm. I don't come here without a firearm. But, uh, that's my story. Thought you might enjoy that scary story. But uh, that's all I got. So thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.